Hey, what's going on, folks? Been a little bit, so I figured I'd give you all a sick calf update. And uh, here in just a, a minute or two, I'm going to throw a shout out to a, uh, a new channel. So, uh, number 54 is doing real well. He's doing great. Um, uh, you can see he's still, still holding on to his balls there just by a little bit, by a thread. But uh, he's doing great. No more wheezing. I haven't heard him cough in probably three days. And, uh, yeah, he's just happy. He's healthy. His, uh, his right ear is not nearly as limp as it used to be. It's almost uh, just about as perky as uh, number 50 there. So they're doing, they're doing real good. Both happy calves. Everybody's, uh, everybody's doing good here on the farm. So, uh, nice to have something like that work out and not end up with a vet bill of a couple hundred bucks or, uh, end up having to put him in the ground and buy another calf. So all is well. Um, they have been really enjoying that calf shed or that, well, it was, was the pony shed for those of you that, uh, have been on my channel for a little bit, but, uh, yeah, they're gaining weight. They're getting bigger and bigger every day kind of kind of cool to see him grow and just be funny little calves so uh farmer jay howell he's uh him and his family they're they're new to youtube they've got some pretty cool hay making videos uh going on right now and uh, running an old massey and a john deere baler with a thrower on it um, yeah, they, they have some pretty cool videos. Definitely worth checking out. If you guys, uh, if you're looking for another channel to subscribe to, uh, if you're anything like me, you, uh, you're you subscribed to over 100 channels and it gets kind of hard to keep up with all of them. But uh, if you want to support a, uh, a good young uh, YouTube channel with some good folks uh, with uh, quality content, check out... Uh, uh, farmer J. Howell. It's all one word. Uh, farmer spelt like farmer. J and H A or H O W E L L, all uh, with no spacing. So, yeah, some uh, some pretty good entertainment there. Uh, so, just as a quick little update here. Uh, blueberries are doing real good. Uh, we have four. I think four different species. We have four different plants, four different species. Uh, they all ripen at different times, which is real nice because we don't have to go through and pick all the bushes at one time. They're very mature and they produce a lot of berries. So it's kind of nice to uh, only have to harvest a little bit at a time, but they're doing good. Apple trees are doing pretty good. The, uh, the two apple trees in the front of our property, they're well over a hundred years old. And they are huge and they aren't producing for crap so we had them uh, pruned by some people that said they were professionals you can see I need to get the harrow out here real bad uh, usually I get the harrow out twice a year um, uh, I haven't done it yet so that's got to get done but so this this back part of the property actually has a fair amount of grass on it um, the grass is getting old, but I have cleaned up the uh, the row of trees there just enough to where we're going to throw up some temporary fence. I know I'm kind of repeating myself uh, for some of you guys, but we really want to get the, or the, the horses out here to pasture. Oh, come on now. So I have a little bit of brush hogging to do yet. I came through and I knocked down a bunch of limbs that were kind of in the way of where we want to put the temporary fence. And really what I love to do is, is clean this whole tree line up the way that I did towards the front of the property. So that gets rid of some of our privacy and we don't like that, but it would really cut down on the maintenance as far as uh, maintaining the uh the fence line but we really want to get the uh, horses back here it's a nice shady place during the summer and uh 
Hey, it'd be great to have them eat this grass. It'd be a few less bales that we have to feed out. And uh, yeah, it'd just be nice to use this part of the land. This is, a, I'd say, a good solid three quarters of an acre to, uh, yeah, right around three quarters of an acre. That's pretty much not getting used. I just come out here and, and maintain it. When we bought this property, it was, uh, it looked absolutely nothing like this. Uh, pretty much from where the, uh, the doggone, uh, the cow pen starts on up all the way through here. So probably this back two and a half acres was, or yeah, probably two acres. It was all overgrown. I mean, it, it was absolutely ridiculous. It was totally unusable. It was, I'm not kidding you, blackberry bushes, 15, 20 feet up in the air. It, <laughs> when, we, when we first bought the place, I was really optimistic. I'm the type of guy that likes a challenge and I like to see uh, progress. I like making progress. And uh, this property was a challenge, but we got it all cleared out. Believe it or not, I've ripped out Oh, heck, I, I don't even want to guess on how many saplings, well over 200 and trees that are, uh, you know, five to six inches in diameter at the base. I ripped out probably 40 or 50 of those. So it was just let go and uh, totally neglected. So to have it at this state's pretty good. So here's a, some of the limbing that I've done. I like to uh, kind of, in a sense, make a windrow <laughs> with, uh, with the branches that I cut. And then I'll come through with the brush hog and just bust them all up into uh, smithereens. So it's going to pretty much look like that. And then over time it just uh, biodegrades and goes goes back into the soil and creates organic material. So, uh, yeah. And over there, that's a uh, four, four and a half acre hay field that we, uh, I think you guys saw some video of that one. I'm, I'm pretty sure you did. But, uh, yeah, so this is just about to get fenced off. This is my big, gigantic brush pile. And uh, I need to get the brush hog on some of these blackberry bushes and spray them. They get out of control. But, um, yeah, here's a brush pile slash old manure that we, uh, at the time, we didn't have a manure spreader, so we'd bring some of it back here. And... Uh, so I need to get access to that with the tractor. So I, I think I'm gonna fence uh, coming off of that T post, probably come up to about right here and then just kind of curve over. And we're gonna use temporary fencing all around the, uh, the rest of the tree line there. And so they should have a good fair amount of place to uh, play around and, and do some foraging and whatnot. So. Anyway, guys, it's a real hot summer day. We're, uh, today we're sitting about 92, 93 degrees. And for us here in the Pacific Northwest, that is hot. <laughs> so, uh, my wife and I went out to the lake. Uh, she has a paddle board and I picked up a kayak so that, uh, she would have some company when she goes out. And yeah, so, uh, went out, had a blast and got a little sunburn, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this video. I wanted to give you an update, give a shout out to uh, Farmer Jay Howell. And uh, hopefully he can pick up some subscribers from this. And uh, yeah, I wish you guys all well. I hope you're uh, you're having a, a good summer and the weather is being friendly for you. So take good care and we will catch you on the next video.